There we go. So uh, I think it's now time to turn off the lights and shine. Spotlight on a musical instrument. Spotlight on a vessel of sound. Spotlight on a musical instrument. Gather round. Lovely. Yes, gather round, because tonight we're going to be shining our spotlight on the shiny horizontal recorder for grown-ups known as the flute. There it is. <laughs> Looks nicer than it sounds. I think out of all the instruments... <laughs> I think it's the one that, if it disappeared suddenly whilst you were playing it, you would look the most ridiculous. And that's how I judge an instrument. I always think, yeah, but what if it disappeared when I was playing it? Well, I would look ridiculous, because trombone, of course. Trombone, you just look like you're fighting. Fine. <laughs> Piano, if it disappears, you're just stroking a goat. But the... <laughs> that's the phrase. But the, the flute... If the flute disappears, all you're doing is kissing someone whilst holding up a cloak for them to admire. It's creepy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a creepy instrument. But we have with us... A flautist, a flutometer. What, what are you, Mark? What are you? Well, I'm a saxophone player. He's he a plays saxophone the flute. player. <laughs> he dabbles in the flute. And, and Mark, can you play some jazz flute? Yeah. Well, obviously don't, but it's good to know, isn't it? It's, it's good <laughs> to have that in the back of our mind to avoid. So, a ridiculous instrument. We can all agree it's a ridiculous, weedy-sounding instrument. However, it does have historical importance. So let's go back in time. Ed, would you mind just taking us back in, into history, please, with your one? Oh, no, further back in the war. Take us a, few, a long way back from the war. Further back still, if you can, Ed. Ideally, I want you to take us back to a time immediately before music was invented, if you can. <laughs> That's perfect. And it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. <laughs> Have a bit of peace. Isn't it? I, I, I like the bits with no music in, if I'm honest. And uh, this is a time at about 50,000 years ago, before the first instrument was invented. And archaeologists believe the first instrument was a flute made out of the bones of either a vulture or a bear. And they've discovered several of these flutes in one location, which has led them to believe that ancient man was working as a community. Uh, experts believe that that is why Homo sapiens triumphed over Neanderthal man. And I'm going to demonstrate that point with a short play. I've written a one-act play in which I'm going to play the lead role, obviously, of Neanderthal man. And Mark, the flutometer, is going to play the part <laughs> of my Homo sapien cousin. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to meet at the time, the crucial point in history, as we're vying for evolution. In the time before music time. Yes, thank you. I should say the play is called In the Time Before Music Time. <laughs> in the time before music time. Ah, hello, homo sapien cousin. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Ooh. Hello, Neanderthal man. Thank you. What, what, what's that you're holding? Oh, it's my new flute. Is it? That is dreadful. Oh, that is absolutely awful. I've got one too. Have you? Oh, no, this is a dreadful day. Oh, dear me, that is absolutely I've awful. I've got a clarinet. Oh, I think I might stop evolving, actually. Oh, come on, no, mate. No, I don't like woodwind. I absolutely hate... I think I'm going to give it a miss, actually. I'm going to stop evolving. Bye-bye. In the time before music time. That is the end of my play. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, uh, the debut performance of In the Time Before Music Time. And that is apparently historically accurate. And also, dinosaurs became extinct a week after the violin was invented. So, 